PIC, that's the Public Investment Corporation, aims to invest in other African countries. Last year, the PIC invested $250 million in Togolese lender Ecobank Transnational Inc. That's Africa's most geographically diverse bank. Earlier, we spoke to Elias Masilela, who's the CEO of the PIC, for an update on the deployment of a significant amount of funds coming into the continent. That's what he had to say about the amount, the performance, and the placement of those funds. It's good that we're talking at this point of the year. When we spoke last year, we're in the process of uh, waiting for the final decision from the Government Employee Pension Fund. Great. I am proud, or what proud is the PIC, to announce that the GPF has finally given approval for the full implementation of the Africa program. Last year, we mentioned that we had already made two investments into the, into the rest of the continent, yes. and those were special dispensations. Yes, in Ecobank they were and in Tanzania. Ecobank and the Tanzania Cement Company. And the reason that we went into those before the final approval, it's because the opportunities were too big to be allowed to let go. Right. Yeah. So now, where are we? How much have you now deployed and how much have you been given to take into the continent by the Government Employee Efficiency Fund? Where we are now is the 5% that was uh, intimated has now been confirmed with the agreement or the final approval from the GPF. Put that and that means numbers for us. 5% of a trillion plus uh, 0.3 would take you to about 60 billion rents, right, which is very significant for the African continent and it basically means we need to be very careful in the manner in which we deploy it. If we do deploy it too quickly, the likelihood is that it's going to have price distortionary effects in the, in the, in, 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 in the continent. Secondly, when you look at that amount of money and compare it to the private equity market of the rest of the continent, yeah. it would almost double the private equity market of the continent. So that's how significant it is. Absolutely. So we're going to be very careful in the manner in which we do it. And in order to guide ourselves in how we deploy these resources, yeah. we have already signed two bilat bilaterals. One with the PTA Bank right. and secondly with the West African, with the West African Bank. What it does is that it enables us to go into each of these investments that we're looking at yeah. with partners on the ground. And that manages our risk and also makes sure that there's ownership on the ground. Are you able to give us some figures in respect of the numbers for those two institutions? Well, for these institutions, there are no numbers. We are not giving them money to manage. Right. But what we're doing is we are, we are going to be sharing pipeline and we're going to be doing joint investments. So far, how much would you say has moved into, the, into Africa of that 60 billion that we, that we spoke about? What has moved into the continent is just below 1.5% right. of the 5% that we're looking at. So there's a lot more that's not going to come now. What there's are you looking for into on. the continent? What kind of projects are you looking at? It's really across the board. Given the nature of the fund, and the objectives that we have, which are premised on the developmental investment uh, funding program that we have in South Africa, yeah. which is to fund with the aim of unlocking economic productivity, right. not only South Africa, but in the rest of the continent. And what we've seen is that the four pillar system that we're utilizing in South Africa yeah. can yeah. actually be applied or rolled out into the rest of the continent. Because yeah. the socio-economic backlogs that we that obtain in South Africa can be observed to be obtaining in the rest of the continent. Therefore, we're going to be looking at economic infrastructure, yeah. social infrastructure, investing in the environmental space, yeah. and also SMME development. Yeah. But if you think about economic infrastructure, which is the kind of area that we're going to be focusing on yeah. to make sure that we unlock uh, the productivities in the rest of the uh, continental economy, yeah. we're looking at things such as roads, pipelines, um, power generation, yeah. dam construction, and all those kinds of infrastructure that are going to ensure a crowding in effect from the private sector. Yeah. So that the benefits or the returns that we enjoy are not only returns from the direct investments that we are looking at, yeah. they are also going to be indirect benefits coming out of the crowding in effect from the yeah. private sector. Yeah. So now you've put about nine billion, I was calculating the one and a half percent in my head uh, while we were talking roughly, that you're putting now. How difficult was it to find opportunities in the continent? 
Surprisingly, it wasn't difficult. It was not. And interestingly, uh, contrary to what a lot of uh, investors, South African investors, uh, operating elsewhere on the continent, we haven't experienced the back the backlash that uh, the South African players are experiencing in the rest of the continent. Okay. In fact, we've experienced full acceptance. Right. I've been in three or four fora in South Africa and outside of South Africa. Yeah. And in each of these fora, s African uh, participants have been actually arguing that amongst partners that they are looking to do business with from yeah. South Africa yeah. is the PIC. And they see the PIC as an entity that they can trust. And this is because we've gone out into the rest of the continent with an objective of partnering, right. rather than going out there to conquer. Yeah. Yeah. Because we see the partnership being very important to achieve our objectives, yeah. and we also see it as a long-term benefit, where we want to inculcate a market or develop a market yeah. that is going to stand good for SA Inc., not only in the short term, but in the long term. So this neighborliness approach in our investment has made us being more accepted than other yeah. uh, South African players.